And welcome back. It's time once again for another spotlight on one of the 20 agencies that make up the United Way of the Tanana Valley. Once again, here's New Center 11's Mike Schultz. The Interior Alaska Center for Nonviolent Living, or IAC, has been in the community since 1977 as a rape crisis hotline. They eventually expanded into a domestic violence shelter, a transitional housing unit, permanent supportive housing, and services for abused children. They are a multifaceted agency trying to address every issue of wellness they can. Executive Director Brenda Stanfield says her agency's vision is to basically see that the community is free of violence. And the United Way of the Tanana Valley makes that happen. The United Way each year is able to assist us in paying just our general operating by the generous contributions of Fairbanks. So without United Way dollars, we don't have quite enough to pay our fuel bills, as everyone knows. And um, we have to buy food. We have sometimes roughly 75 people here a night that need food and services. And so just our general operating expenses are pretty high, and we really rely on United Way dollars to fund that. I asked Brenda what she was most proud of for how her agency contributes to the community. We, um, we serve a lot of different people in the community in a lot of different ways, but I think our proudest thing that here is that we're able to provide services in a way that's respectful and non-judgmental. We were gifted this wonderful building, and because of that, we're able to offer families their own room. They don't have to share with people. We want them to continue living and working their jobs and doing what they did because they're out of their home for a reason that they really have no control over. During her 18 years with IAC, what does Brenda feel is her most rewarding and fulfilling moment? You know, I, that would have to be the day we saw a mom reunited with her children that she had not um, been able to see in quite some time. The court system can be very challenging. This particular mom did not have an attorney and um, ended up losing custody. And it was a two-year battle in order to be able to be re reunited with her children and be able to see them. And um, that was a moving day for all of us. The United Way of the Tanana Valley campaign is coming to an end soon. But there's still time for you to donate. And remember, all donations stay within the community. Mike Schultz, News Center 11.